moving to introduction so basically uh, why we are studying excel uh, we study microsoft excel because it's a great platform to perform mathematical calculations on large data set large data set uh, when i'm saying i'm comparing it to like 10 line 20 lines in data to on like thousands of lines of data i'm not comparing it with any cloud platform i'm not comparing it with any sql server or any other uh, Oracle or any any other DB. I'm just comparing it with a smaller set of data, which is capturable and uh, calculation can be done uh, by the use of calculator or hand. But in Excel, you can perform mathematical calculation and um, uh, do multiple other things as well for larger data set as well. Yeah, and it is widely used for data analysis. Uh, most of you are studying SQL and Python, very important. Uh, but uh, in my opinion, uh, Excel is used a lot in multiple organizations. Uh, you'll be surprised to know uh, that Excel is used in data analysis, uh, data science, still in major leading banks, major leading insurance companies, and uh, a lot of retail companies as well. Obviously, they're trying to migrate, but they haven't been able to migrate yet. And even if they have migrated, they still use Excel for you know creating a subset of data and then checking things on top of that. So becomes a very uh, handy tool to uh, know about it. And in a lot of uh, many companies, they ask questions based on Excel. So one of the example is uh, Affine Analytics. So when I was working in India, so uh, their first round of interview was based on Excel. So one of the part of the interview was about Excel. So that's why they, and they ask questions uh, which are related to like uh, sorting, filtering data, and then, you know, using uh, some formulas, using some uh, if formula, some if count if formulas, using pivot table, using VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, things like that. So uh, it's very important to understand the data. It's very important to use those formulas in terms of uh, you know uh, visualizing the data uh, so excel becomes very handy very easy tool to visualize everything and uh, understand everything uh, and very quickly like even if you are a novice in uh, python and uh, if you want to if you have like practiced a bit in excel it will become very handy for you to analyze data yeah, so it has features like sorting, filtering, and searching data. So as we discussed, uh, it uh, these features allow uh, Excel to be widely used for data analysis. And obviously, it is used for reporting, accounting, and obviously data analysis. Uh, it helps in organization. It helps in organizing uh, task lists, calendars, and planning worksheets. So it will help you to uh, you know list out the task, uh, organize that, uh, and right or you can also connect it with uh like calendars and check with that and a planning worksheet so things like that uh you can do that uh, it also provides good security for data uh, because it has a password protection feature uh, it has uh, also uh, features like giving permission uh, to certain individual to open it it has permission to give view access edit access to certain uh, individuals and things like that. So that becomes like it gives you that uh, ability uh, to control your data set, control your work. Uh, so it gives good security in terms of that. And but it has a limitation of just over 1 million rows, or if you want, uh, if you prefer lakhs, then it should be 10 lakh 48,576 is the limit of Excel. Beyond these many rows, you can't go further. And 16,348 columns. Is the limitation in terms of columns you can't go beyond that right 